One of the standard techniques in synthetic chemistry is filtration, separation of mixtures of solids from liquids. This video talks about suction filtration, that is, filtration assisted by a vacuum to speed the process up. Filtration is a separation process. Frequently, you will have solid mixed with liquid, and you want only one of the two. Passing the mixture through a filter allows liquids and, and solutions to pass through and retains the solids on the filter. Now, when you're using suction filtration, the filter is most often not paper, but rather a glass sponge. That's this white disc in the middle here. It's called sintered glass, or sometimes called a glass frit. The filter has microscopic holes which allows liquids through, but mostly stops liquid. Moving to the whiteboard here, there are several methods of filtering. Suction filtration allows separation with suction, pulling the liquid through the filter, which is um, part of a Hirsch funnel, which you've already seen. The funnel actually sits in a Buchner flask, which is a flask with a sidearm, and the vacuum gets pulled off here. A vacuum can be applied through the, a hose, and we'll draw some hosing in in a minute, and that drops the pressure in the Buchner flask, and the air pressure up here pushes the liquid through the frit down here, and you leave the solid up top. Now, you can get a problem if there's too much liquid in the Buchner flask. If it gets up to here, you can get it being sucked off and out the sidearm. Uh, that would be a problem. You're going to muck up the uh, pump. So instead, we, using the heavy glass, excuse me, heavy rubber tubing, there's a trap in the way. So the vacuum comes from a pump and the, goes through a trap. So if you lose any liquid, it gets sucked up here and caught in the trap. Therefore, it won't be causing any damage. This is a Hirsch funnel, and this is a Buchner flask. You'll use them here in a fume hood because the, this is where you'll find the vacuum. The vacuum comes through this heavy wall tube. Sometimes it's black, sometimes it's red. Here is the trap back here, and the vacuum actually comes through this yellow nozzle. Notice that the vacuum tubing and the Buchner itself have quite heavy walls. That's so they don't collapse under reduced pressure. If we assemble these together, just pops on like that. The vacuum tubing is quite twisty, so if you're not careful, everything is going to fall on its side, and you'll get sorrow and weeping and lost product. So always clamp your product, your excuse me, clamp your Buchner flask here so that it's not going to tip over. The vacuum is actually controlled by a yellow tap down here. The suction itself is silent. So you can't hear the pump. It's often another room. So when you do turn it on, please make sure at the end of the exercise you make sure that you've turned this off. We're going to be actually filtering this mixture here. And you put the Hirsch funnel in place. You apply the vacuum. We've turned the vacuum on. The next thing you do is you swirl it to get the solid suspended and then pour it in. And you may notice that was an awful lot faster than it is for gravity. However, I didn't get it all out. So we'll work on that in a minute. If you are, all you're interested in is the liquid, then just disconnect the vacuum, turn it off, remove this, and you're done by pouring this liquid into another vessel. However, quite frequently, what you're actually looking for is the solid. If that's the case, and you've still got some solid in the beaker, you'll need to use this liquid here. You could use any liquid to transfer it, but in fact, this liquid here is already a saturated solution of your product here, and so you won't lose any more if you use the filtrate, which is the liquid that comes through. So in this case, you remove the flask, pour the liquid back into the beaker with your extra solid, reapply the tubing, turn the hose back on, swirl it some more, and pour it in. And most of that happened. You can do this as many cycles as you need to get all of your solid into the filter. Now, you may be wish to remove any traces of the filtrate and any dissolved species in it. 
the protocol may tell you to wash the solid on the filter using water or some other solvent. In this case, once the filtrate has passed into the flask, uh, you disconnect the vacuum like this. You don't need to turn it off. And add the wash liquid and then apply suction. Don't do this, that is, add the liquid while the suction is happening. If you do that, only the, the solid that's underneath the wash stream gets washed, and the stuff at the sides of the filter never get washed. So always disconnect, add the wash liquid, and then reconnect. Do be careful not to overwash. If your product is slightly soluble, you'll cut your yield that way. If you're washing, if you do it in two batches, it'll be more efficient than in one large batch. Now, do be careful that you don't get too much liquid in your Buchner flask. If it starts getting up to around here, it'll be splashing around and it'll tend to be moving out. If that's the case, just stop filtering, open everything up, transfer the liquid out, and start again. Washing may or may not be part of the protocol, but once you've finished passing liquid through the filter, you may want to let it sit on the frit and dry a bit. In this case, dump the liquid back out again, put it back in, and just let it sit and apply suction to it for a while. This is called drying at the pump. By drawing air through the solid, you will be drying it off. Five minutes at most will be plenty for this. Once you are done, it's uh, pumped dry, then disconnect the vacuum, turn the vacuum off here, and remove the Hirsch funnel. Take your spatula and transfer the solid onto a watch glass. Now, that may take a little bit of scraping here, but if it does, please be careful. The sinter glass is fairly delicate, and you can poke a hole in it if you're a bit too enthusiastic with your spatula. So if you do need to scrape, do so gently, especially on the sintered glass. You've got the solid, spread it out to let it dry even more, and there is your filtered product. And that is how to do suction filtration. A slightly modified form of vacuum filtration may be called for when you have a liquid such as this, which has got very fine solid particles distributed in it, and you want to remove the, f uh, the solid, re leaving a clear liquid. These particles are so fine, they would just go straight through a glass frit. And in cases like this, you need what's called a filter aid. This particular kind is called Sealite. There are many others. It's a fine powdered solid. It looks like fine sand or flour. You take an amount of it, about like that, pop it on your filter, and add some solvent to get it wet. There we are. Then apply just a little bit of a vacuum. You're not trying to dry it. All you do is apply vacuum so that you cause the filter aid to sit and form a nice bed. Now, swirl the liquid that you're interested in and pour it through the filter bed. And you'll notice it's actually taking a longer time to come through. That's because the liquid is pushing through considerably finer holes. But there we are. That's all we wanted. The sludge is left up here in the filter aid, which you will then discard. And the liquid that we want is here in the Buchner flask. You won't use filter aid very often, but you do need it when the solid impurities, which you want to get rid of, are very small. In conclusion, filtration is a separation process designed to separate mixtures of solids and liquids. You should now understand the process of microscale suction filtration and washing solids on the filter using a Hirsch funnel.